Hello friends, this video on chemical reactions and equations part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 3. Let's take one more example. We have KClO3 plus KCl is equal to KCl plus photo. It balances. So we'll see any polyatomic thing. ClO3 is a polyatomic thing, but it is not here. So we'll not consider this. Correct? Please note here ClO3 was a polyatomic thing, but it is not there in the product thing. So we'll not compare this. We'll not consider this. Correct? So ClO3 is not considered. Any metal? No. Non metal, potassium, chlorine, oxygen, all. So oxygen will put in last because oxygen and hydrogen has least pride. So let's see the balance thing. KClO. This is my reactant, this is my product. Potassium is 1, 2, and product there is only 1 potassium. It is not balanced. Let's multiply this guy with 2. So what you get is KClO3 plus KCl is equal to 2 KCl plus O2. Now let's again see if it's balanced or not. KClO. Potassium is 2 here, here also 2. Chlorine is 1 plus 1, 2, here also 2, oxygen is here 3, here it is 2, this is non balanced so we will multiply this guy with 3 by 2, so let's multiply this guy with 3 by 2, so what you get here is KClO3 plus KCl is equal to 2 KCl plus 3 by 2, put. let's see if it is balanced now, KClO Potassium is 2 here, product also 2, chlorine is 1 plus 1, 2 here, product also 2, 2 KCl, right? So 2 chlorine, oxygen is 3 here, here also 3 by 2 into 2, 3. So it is balanced, but there is a fraction part, right? So we to remove the fraction part, it was it is by 2, you multiply everything into 2. So what you get is 2 KCl. L O3 this becomes 2 plus 2 KCl is equal to 2 into 2 becomes 4 KCl plus 3 O2. And this is my balanced chemical equation. We'll take one more example. I'm taking more equations because more example because the most critical part of the chemical equation you should know how to balance the chemical equation as the foundation of the chemistry you can say. So we have HNO3 plus COH2 it gives CNO32 plus H2 this is one chemical equation even if you don't know about this compounds right it's okay you should just know how to balance the chemical reactions. So let's balance this. So here we have some compound. Is there any compound? Yes, NO3, NO3. So this guy is there in both reaction and product. So we'll take NO3 as a first priority. Then we'll take uh, metals. No, non-metals. We have calcium. And then we have hydrogen oxygen. So we'll say hydrogen oxygen. Right? So now we'll check this is the, this is the my priority order, right? Priority order. We'll check NO3 part. Reactant and product. So my reactant has one NO3. Product has two. It is not balanced. So we'll multiply this guy with two. So what you get is two H NO3 plus COH2 is equal to C NO3 2 plus H2. Please note here OH is was also one polyatomic thing but OH is not here it's only in the reactant so we didn't take OH right but NO3 is also polyatomic thing it is there in reactant and product both so we took NO3 hope you understand this that polyatomic thing has to be there in both sides to take that so we got this equation now let's compare so we have this NO3 CH NO3 is how many two here reactant and product product also we have two it is balanced calcium we have one here also calcium we have 1, right, 1, 1. Hydrogen we have 2 plus 
2, 4. Right? 2 plus 2, 4 here. Here we have 2 hydrogens. So hydrogen is not balanced, right? See, this part you can't take, this part is again gone. So 2 hydrogen here plus this again we can take because this here we have not assumed as a polyatomic thing because this was not there in the product side, right? So we'll take 2 hydrogen from here, 2 plus 2, 4 hydrogens. Here we have 2 hydrogens. Please pay attention here. Since <coughs> OH was a polyatomic thing, yes, but still we could not take this as one unit because this guy is only in reactant, not in product. So when we talk about hydrogen, we'll take hydrogen from this also, right? So hydrogen 2 plus 2, 4 here, and we have only 2 hydrogen here. Not balanced, so we multiply this guy with 2. So what you get is 2H NO3 plus CaOH2 gives CaNO3 2 plus 2H2. Now let's check if it is balanced or not. We have NO3 CHO, we have reactant, then we have product. Reactant NO3 is here is 2 molecule. In product, we have NO3 2. Calcium, we have one here and we have one here, one, one. Hydrogen, we have two plus two, four here. And here we have two, oxygen. So please note, we'll not take this oxygen because this is already counted as part of NO3. We'll not take oxygen in this also because this is already counted as part of NO3. But we'll take this oxygen. Why? Because this OH we have not considered as the, uh, you can say polyatomic thing in the prior to this because the product didn't have this OH. So we'll take OH O from here, but we'll not take O from here. Please note once again, we'll not take oxygen from NO3 now. We'll not consider that because it's already counted for, but we'll take O from this because OH is not counted for, right? OH we didn't consider because OH was not there in the product side. So, so for oxygen, we have two oxygen here. And here we have again two oxygen because this oxygen we won't count, we'll count only this oxygen. So we'll see that things are balanced, right? So this is my balanced equation. Hope you understand this. The trick was here was this in this the oxygen we won't count because we have already counted as oxygen, but we'll take oxygen from this guy OH because we didn't count the OH. Let's take a few more examples. We have NOH, sodium hydroxide plus H2SO4 sulfuric acid, give Na2SO4, sodium sulfate and water. So we have to balance this equation. So we already know the names of these things, we have learned all these things in the past classes. We want to balance this chemical equation. So here also if you see, SO4 is one unit here. Here also we have SO4. That guy is my first priority, right? And do you have any metals? No. We have sodium, we'll take sodium. And then we'll take hydrogen and oxygen. This is my order of the priority. First, we'll try to balance SO4 if it is not balanced. So let's check. So we have this SO4 and the H and So this is my reactant, this is my product. In this case, we see that SO4 is 1 and here also we have 1, 1 and 1, it's perfectly balanced. Then comes sodium, sodium we have 1 here and 2 here. Oops, it is not balanced. So let's multiply this guy with 2. So the new equation we get is 2NeOH plus H2SO4 is equal to Na2SO4 plus h 2 Let's again compare the values SO4, Na, HNO. We have reactant and product. So sulfate we have one here, one here, one, one each. Sodium we have two here, two here, two three each. Hydrogen. So we have two hydrogens here, plus two, four hydrogens here. Here we have only two hydrogens. Not balanced. So let's multiply with two. Two into two becomes four, right? So what you get is 2NaOH plus H2SO4 gives Na2SO4 plus 2H2. Now let's again compare. This is SO4, Na, H and O. 
we have this reactant, we have product. SO4 is 1, 1. Sodium is 2 here, sodium is 2 here. Hydrogen is 2 into 1, 2 plus 2, 4. Here we have 2 into 2, 4. Oxygen gone. So we have 2 oxygen here. This we won't consider because this we already considered as part of SO4. This also we won't consider. So we have only 2 oxygen atoms here. And here also we have 2 oxygen atoms, right? This is my balance chemical equation. Everything is balanced. Correct. We'll take a couple of more examples. NaCl, sodium chloride plus AgNO3, silver nitride becomes AgCl plus NaNO3. So here, silver is my, any compound, no. Metal, yes, silver is the metal. Any compound, yes, there's a compound, man. There's a compound. NO3 is a compound. So we'll take NO3 first. Then we have metal, we'll take metal, a G. Then we have one metal, sodium and chlorine. First, we'll try to balance this as NO3, then we have A, G, N, A, and C. The reactant is my product, right? So NO3, how many NO3 here? One. How many here? One. One, one balanced. A, G, how many A, G in reactant? One. In product, one. Sodium, how many sodium in reactant? One. In product, one. Cl, how many Cl in reactant? One. Product, one. You see, it is balanced. It is already balanced. So there is no need to balance this equation. It is already balanced. Equation. We don't do anything. It is already balanced. Let's take one example. Barium chloride, BaCl2 plus H2SO4 sulfuric acid give. Barium sulfate, PaSO4 plus HCl. Let's see. So we have SO4 thing here, both sides. So SO4 is my first priority. Then we'll take barium, is the second priority. Then we'll take chlorine, is the third priority. And here we, we see that some hydrogen is also there, right? So we'll take hydrogen as the fourth priority thing. We'll compare now. We'll see sulfate part. In reactant, we have one. In product, we have one. Sulfate is one. Barium part. Here next is barium. Barium, we have one here, one here. Balanced. Next is chlorine part. We have two chlorine here. Reactant product, we have only one chlorine, which is not balanced. Let's multiply by two. Correct? So what you get is now barium chloride plus H2SO4 gives barium sulfate plus 2SC. Now again let's see the balance part SO4, BaCl and H, right? The reactant is my product. So sulfate is how many? One here, one here, one, one balance. Barium is one here, one here balance. Chlorine is two here, two here balanced. Hydrogen part. So we have two hydrogen here and two hydrogen here. Correct? Balanced. Everything is balanced. That means it is my balanced chemical equation. It's my answer. Balanced chemical equation. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.